This is Lowell, Arizona, and we don't truly understand this place, but it's filled with cool old cars and nothing's really open. It looks like a gym might be open right now. There's Mile High Services, Lowell, Arizona. This car is absolutely beautiful. It's an old Etzel. And that thing fixed up, and it wouldn't take much to fix it up. It's already, uh, I mean, it looks like it's probably an original painting. Yeah, look at the inside of that. All original, it looks like. Who knows how much that thing's worth? And that's just sitting out here. And here's more. There's so much cool stuff to see. Anybody remember old Sprouts Rights? Five, 10, and 15 cent store? There's an old uh, Bel Air. Again, none, I mean, there's, they're all storefronts, but they just don't seem to be open, or maybe they're only open certain times of the year. And they all have padlocks on them. Almost looks like somebody went around and padlocked everything. This place is super cool. Holly Davidson, huh? 58 Dual Glide. And that's gotta be worth some money. These are just, you know, again, see the locks up there. What's that back there? On top of a motorcycle, Harley Davidson. If anybody can see that, I'm trying to. And 1948, 1948 U model flathead. That's just got, I mean, I don't know how much these are all worth, but they cannot, they cannot be cheap. There's another, there's an Indian, 140 miles per hour. Must have broke some speed record. 1939 Indian, Iron Man crits. I mean, just so, uh, everything here is so cool, as you can see up there. Indian motorcycle, historic Lowell, established in 1880. You can see this uh, awesome looking Ford. Another awesome looking vehicle there. That's in the Palace Rooms, Texaco. Not sure what this is yet. I like the suicide doors on it. This is Lowell, Arizona. They're not, they're not, it's just a ghost town. Here's a, 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 the old Greyhound station, and they have two Greyhound buses out here. And this was a nice Greyhound bus at one time. And this is in Bisbee, Arizona. You don't have to go far from downtown Bisbee to, uh, to see it. Let's see what's down here. Oh. <laughs> like, that's where it should be. Private property. Yeah. It's like, yeah, don't screw with us, which is a good thing. All right. What'd you say? Uh, no, Ellie. Oh, we can't walk back. Oh, geez. So. This just must be a hot spot for. Uh, there's a little police department over there. Lowell Justice of the Peace. This looks like almost out of Andy Griffith. <laughs> Barn Duck Jed. This wasn't Sturgis. <laughs> Deputy Barney Fife, Sturgis, South Dakota. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Now that one over there has Sturgis in front of it. So somehow, I don't know what the relation is to this Lowell, Arizona and Sturgis, but it seems to be some. There's the uh, Greyhound, and that was the Greyhound station right behind it. And that, that's a big building. Look at how far that goes back. Lots of great looking vehicles. Guessing nobody lives in there. Let's see. There's anything over there? Another old vehicle. Not a classic, but still pretty uh, nice just to have out in the street. <laughs> Muffler shop. gas tanks and again these are solid that's real uh for a second i thought those might have been fake but no those are real that's not cheap a bel air and look at the body on them man check out the back of that looks like a like a fish a whale tail that's awesome there's a harley davidson shop I like that. Uh, this is very nice. That's a 350. Cool golf sign. Or, uh, oh, we had an old jack like that at the shop. And this is Lowell, Arizona. I would encourage you. Yeah, it's just like if you're if you're going to Bisbee, yeah, definitely go to Lowell. Because there's no reason why you shouldn't. And again, somehow it, it ties it back to Sturgis. But there it is. Lowell, Arizona.